the United States, and I am announcing today, will be investing $20 million to assist in the strengthening and the expansion of Jamaica's commerce in a way that we fully intend will have an impact in strengthening the economy um, of Jamaica and drive economic growth. We also recognize, just as it has been in the United States for Jamaica, one of the issues that has been presented as an issue that is economic in the way of its impact has been the pandemic. So to that end, we are announcing today also that we will assist Jamaica in COVID recovery um, by assisting in terms of the recovery efforts in Jamaica that have been essential to, I believe, what is necessary to strengthen not only uh, the, the, the issue of public health, but also the economy. And this is on top of more than what we have done of, uh, throughout the year since the start of the pandemic, $12 million in, in COVID assistance and uh, more than 600,000 vaccinations or vaccines that have been donated. Lastly, but most importantly, a, a great part of our conversation, uh, Mr. Prime Minister, that we appreciate has been about the priority we share for security in the region, as well as the issue of crime prevention. So we discussed, of course, the priority that your government places on both those issues. And we agree that one area of important focus is on youth and on, as you said, the human capital of Jamaica. To that end, we have um, committed and we are announcing now to provide $10 million to target at-risk youth in Jamaica through a number of initiatives that we believe will have exponential impact, not only on the issue of crime prevention, but what we intend as well, which is to strengthen, as you have described, the natural human capital that exists in Jamaica among young people. And finally, our conversation uh, spanned not only those issues, but issues that are about uh, a global significance. And to that end, I thank the Prime Minister for the uh, leadership that he has offered in the context of votes that have been taken in the United Nations and in terms of Jamaica's strong stand in joining the United Nations and the United States in condemning Russia's aggression in Ukraine. And we are very proud of our continued strong relationship. Today, our discussions reaffirmed this strong partnership and we discuss ways in which this partnership can be strengthened and expanded. Uh, Madam Vice President, the Jamaican government and people have sacrificed and worked hard to successfully entrench macroeconomic stability and fiscal sustainability, and in particular in managing our debt. It is a journey on which the United States uh, has been a very good partner through several of your agencies and indeed various multinational, uh, multilateral institutions. Jamaica today is a model of a small open economy which has transitioned its public financial management into a stable and financially prudent one. The securities game